Hello tech enthusiasts, today I'm going to show you how to root the Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 for real. Before we start, I want to share a couple details with you. It's about this gaming channel for all you GTA 5 lovers out there. It's Dom is live too, um, him and his friends are very creative. They're full of energy and give you tips for conquering the realm of GTA 5. He uploads daily for all you content lovers out there that want to keep yourself entertained throughout the day. Click that annotation on my laptop right there, or there's a link in the description for all those people using Android and Apple devices. Now, I did not come up with this. All credit goes to Insign Gene from XCA Developers. His form will be in the link in the description for people that want uh, written out details on how to do this. And don't forget to tell him thanks. This method is only meant for T230 and U models, so for people that have anything different than that, uh, the process may or may not work for you, but I recommend you try it anyway because it is something that's really cool to do. I also recommend you watch the whole video so you know what you're doing or you get a good idea of what you're doing so you don't make mistakes in the process and mess up your device. Download the file in the link in the description because it contains all the files that are required for this process. Now, let's get started. So first you want to connect your tablet to your computer through a USB cord. Sorry, my computer's doing something stupid. And you want to open it up and drag that file that was in the zip I gave you called update super suv 2.02 .02 to the root of your tablet's SD card. Now once that's done, you can go ahead and disconnect your tablet and this will save you the trouble of having to deal with a charging notification every time your device boots. So power off your device and wait for it to shut down all the way. You want to hold the volume down button, the home button, and then press power and as soon as it comes on press the volume up on as quickly as possible that way you don't miss it every time so it's gonna be in downloading mode now plug into your plug your tablet into your computer again and there's gonna be a file in there called Samsung USB driver for mobile phones now it's gonna be for the tablet too but you want to install that before you do anything else now after you have that installed open up the Odin 3.09 folder And if the driver's installed correctly, you will see added on the uh, message box. And you will see COM7 or whatever your USB port is. Now what you want to do is you want to click on BL, which stands for bootloader. And you want to go to where you extracted your files. For mine, it's on my desktop in a folder called Lala. You want to select your open recovery twerp 2.8.01 Degas and just click that and open. Now you are going to see auto reboot. Uncheck the auto reboot and then hit start. Now you're gonna see the tablet do some weird loading thing and this is gonna tell you what's going on. Once it's done you should see res ok and it's gonna say reset. Alright, so this next part is very crucial that you follow directions accordingly for this to work. So, the tablet is still on. Hold the home and volume up, not down, vo volume up. Hold those together, power off device, and hold the button. Hold all three buttons, and the device is going to power off. Now keep holding the power button. Let go when it comes up. Now, if it worked, you should see a thing that says Team Win. That means you're good to go. You're going to want to hit Install. And then you're going to want to scroll down all the way down to where you saved your Super SU file. For me, it's at the very bottom. And you want to tap that. And it's going to say, this operation may install incompatible software and render your device unusable. Don't worry, this is 100% compatible software, unless you have a Samsung device that is a different model than what I stated at the beginning of the video. Now you want to just swipe to confirm the flash. 
It shouldn't take long. It should only take a few seconds. Now it's going to say home wipe cache slash Dalvik reboot system. You're going to want to hit reboot system. And you're going to want to just let it turn on. Now, once you power on your device completely, it's going to say pass, which means it was 100% successful. Alright, your device is going to be powered on. It's weird, my camera's following it. I've never seen it do that before. Alright, so you, you want to unlock it, and you are not going to have any sort of super user file on your device when you boot it up. That controls what's allowed to have root access and what's not. So you want to open up the Play Store, hit search, and type in super s whoopsies super su and hit search. Now you're gonna find super u super su and you want to download that. For some reason I do not have it. Don't know where it went and just install it. Alright, so next what you want to do, to verify that you have root, you're going to need an app called Root Checker. And I'm going to click the blue one because I like it better. And since I've already installed it, I'm going to go ahead and open it for you. And Galaxy Tab 4 7-inch is rooted. So you now have a Samsung Galaxy Tab 7-inch unrootable device rooted with 4.4.2 KitKat. Well guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy your rooted Samsung Galaxy Tab 7. And I want you to hit that subscribe button because more tech videos are coming out and this is now going to be a tech channel. Ah. And make sure you check out Dom is Live too. They are really awesome guys, and I recommend you go check them out. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next video.